Today we're going to be looking at how to retrieve standard output that's piped to your um, script. So for example, if I did ifconfig, that gives me information about my network card. I can pipe that into grep, uh, and I can grep for, I'm just going to do 192. Uh, so there, there's an example. That's piped to grep. How do you retrieve that information? It's basically taking everything that's the output of this command and putting it into the next program. So if that next program is your script, how do you retrieve that information? Let's go ahead, I'm gonna use Vim as my text editor. I'm gonna call my script main.sh and I'm gonna put in my shebang line saying this is a bash script. And it's very simple, I do cat dash. And that's saying if I now make my script executable, let's clear the screen and I if config and I pipe that into dot slash my script, it's going to basically output the, the output of ifconfig because it's taking that, putting that in my script and my script saying display that information. So what we can do now, like we can have a message before that, we can say echo welcome. And now we'll say welcome and give the ifconfig output. We can also now take that and pipe it into grep192. And if we do that now, it says welcome, and it gives us that line that we grepped. Again, if we go in here, we can also then add into that awk, and I can say print dollar sign two, which is saying print the second column, and that should give us our IP address. So welcome and your IP address. If we want, we can put that into a variable now for use in our script. So I can say IP equals, and then in dollar sign parentheses, I can get that. Now IP equals the output of what was piped into this script, grepped and printed here. And now I can say echo your IP address is dollar sign IP. Now I run that and it will say welcome. Your IP address is and your IP address. Obviously this is just an example you know not every IP address is going to start with 192 um, but it's just an example of taking the output of because if I run that without piping I've config you just get welcome and then it just kind of hangs there because it's waiting for input which I can give it control C it does it's just you don't, actually, I'm just curious real quick, blah, 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 control D. Okay, yeah, control D will get you out of that. Anyway, um, that is how you can retrieve information that is piped from one program into your script, which is useful in many cases. So again, to get what is piped, the basic part of this tutorial is this cat dash. That will, that whatever that is will be what's piped into your script and then you can manipulate that however you want, throw it into variables and use those variables later on. So that is it. I uh, hope that you do find this useful. I hope that you check out my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There is a link in the description of the video. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. Support me on Patreon. Thank you. <laughs>